It takes a minimum of eight crew on the bridge to run the ship. So we can expect at least that many hostiles. If they bioformed Hadri, they know we're coming. Which means everyone needs to be ready for... Take cover! Now we're... We need that door sealed. We can handle that. Where do you need us? There's an access panel there. You should be able to patch into the local system. We'll be shot getting there. I'll cover you. On my signal. Now! What are we gonna do with them? We don't have time to take prisoners. So you're just gonna shoot them? I haven't decided yet. That's not just up to you. I'm the ranking officer. And we're not in your army. These prisoners can be useful to us. But if you kill them, we'll never know. I can live with that. Well, I can't. You're an engineer, not a soldier. Clearly my territory. You think you have enemy combatants here? This is a hostage situation. Each one of them has an innocent life inside. I'll keep watch on them. As will I. We can't let our guard down around the enemy. Petty Officer Diaz and I will figure out how to stop the ship. Let's hurry. The rest of the Takan could show up any minute. Crystals. They're all over this place. take days to go this distance with our fastest ship. We're traveling at a warp factor many times greater than this ship should even be capable of. What are the engines doing to produce this kind of speed? Look here. It's navigational data. We saw that already. Headed to the edge of the galaxy. It's only a display. We couldn't use it to change course or alter speed. drive section. The reactor output matches the high speed, doesn't it? And there's these crystals, and the power from the cartabula. The Takan have found a way to increase the engine output at top speed. We have to find a way to hit the brakes before we outrun anyone who could help us. We stop it, so they can't get this ship where they're going, and enact the next phase of their plan. That is if they don't destroy us all first. I would have thought this ship would disintegrate going this speed. We do our part, and just worry about that. I don't know what more they have to their plan. People like this are never satisfied. There's always more that they want. And they are obviously going... somewhere. I hate to think what the Cartabula could do if it was plugged into something it was meant to power.
crystals are Takan technology. They seem to be active, just like the rest of their tech. Tetrametric pulses. Tetrametric? It's the energy signature of Takan technology. Everything they make gives off this type of radiation. They're blocking the inputs. It's not responding at all. Everything I try, it just ignores me. I thought you had the access codes needed to take control back. I should, but I can't actually get to the surface, so I can't enter them here. Maybe there's somewhere else I can try. There are two interfaces on top of each other. This... this is not a Lydian programming. catch up to us. We're in a whole different kind of trouble. systems are actively responding to input. Which is the opposite of how most bridges work. They usually send commands, not receive them. It's from an intrusive program. This control station won't do us any good either. What have they done to this bridge? Consoles running themselves, some clogged up with crystals that are sending off tetrametric pulses. But none of this is sending signals outward. It's receiving. Flying the ship from somewhere else. That should be impossible. But it explains why there's less than a full bridge crew. If they aren't flying the ship from the bridge, where are they controlling it from? Everything under control? Yes. Mr. Khan haven't made a move. Yet. And what you're doing is working. There's plenty more I can do. But it doesn't have to be that way. As long as they behave. Just fine for me. Slow down, Arminta. <laughs> you can't control the ship with a disruptor. But I can use it to control you.
The Titan's communications officer says Captain Riker will be ready in just a moment. You need to see this. The report on the data breach. Damn. It's worse than I'd hoped. They didn't just compromise our shields. They stole the shield algorithms for all of Starfleet as well. Meaning every ship is potentially vulnerable to attack. Making this so much worse than it already was. Given the potential consequences, we should notify Starfleet as soon as possible. I don't disagree, but uh, I'll reach out to Ambassador Spock about it. I don't want to cause a panic. And I doubt he does either. I have Captain Riker for you. Let's not mention any of this S.H.I.E.L.D. business to Riker just yet. Put him through. Captain Riker, this is my first officer, Commander Jara Rydek. My pleasure. Sir. I wish we were all meeting under better circumstances. So do I, although you and I have actually met before. We have. I was a young lieutenant on the Potemkin. You were first officer on the Tuckerman. I piloted you and our science officer in a shuttle to survey quantum residence in the planetary rings of Residia 6. Ah, oh, yes. Now I remember. You know, he gave me some good advice that day about a very difficult job. Yours. Well, I'm not one to turn down some words of wisdom, sir. Then let me ask, as first officer on a starship, where does your responsibility lie, first and foremost? To the captain, the crew, or the ship itself. Oh, this old chestnut. I am curious to hear what she says, though. Ultimately, my responsibility is to the crew at large. The needs of the many. You have been hanging around, Ambassador Spock. But the truth is, it's a trick question. Every situation is different, and there are no easy answers. And in some cases, it might not be any of those three. It could be the Prime Directive. Or the mission. Yes, so perhaps we should get to the matter at hand. When you were with the Enterprise, you encountered a Takan entity known as Portal 6-3. The Enterprise was held captive in orbit until you were able to convince him to let the ship go. All of which is detailed in the mission report. What we want from you is what we can't get from the report. What can we use to get Portal 6-3 to help us? I've often thought about that over the years. How a small difference in the encounter could have led to disaster. The most important thing is, don't let him push you around. He could appear as a man or as a godlike projection. He'll test you, but don't be overwhelmed by the pageantry and theatrics. I'll stand up to him. You can trust in that. Good, but that's just the first step. Portal is full of bluster and bravado, but he can be reasoned with. And that's my other piece of advice. You want to appeal to him rationally. You don't want him thinking you're acting out of fear. But we are afraid of the Takan, and with good reason. He's not the sort to suffer fools, and he'll lose interest if he feels his time is being wasted. I suppose that's one thing we have in common. Do you think he knows that the Takan have returned? He didn't even know they were gone when we went there. But the moment the Enterprise dropped into orbit around Delphi Ardu 4, he downloaded the entirety of the ship's computer. So I'd expect the same when you get there. What if he won't cooperate and we have to face these Takan ourselves? Then we have a much bigger problem on our hands. What I mean is, in the 16 years since you discovered this outpost, there has to have been research. Battle plans for what to do about the Takan if we encountered more of them. I need to know what they are. If I had that answer, it would have been the first thing I told you. We both know Command has had their share of hidden plans in the past. Like Admiral Hansen and Captain Shelby's Special Projects Division at Starfleet Tactical, devising new ways to take on the board. Trust me, this isn't some Starfleet conspiracy to keep you in the dark. But if you two don't think you're equipped to make contact, you need to tell me now. Because there is no silver bullet here. Now's not the time to hesitate. I need to know you're up to this. Were you equipped to meet Portal 63 all those years ago? I'm here, aren't I? Yes, you are. And we have the benefit of your experience on our side. Fair enough. 
There was a special task force that considered the Takan, and I was part of it. But because there were no other signs of the Empire, we determined the best course of action was to create a restricted zone around the Delphi Ardu system. I have my concerns, but I'll clear the way with the brass for your travel into the restricted space. Just remember what I've told you. And it wouldn't hurt to read some Sun Tzu en route. Or Marcus Aurelius. Anything else? Thank you for your support, Captain Riker. I wish I could be there myself. But my first officer would probably see to it that I stay on the bridge while they get all the excitement on the away mission. The burdens of command. Rest assured, the Federation is taking this threat very seriously. You won't be alone out there for too long. Thank you, Captain Riker. One more thing. Ambassador Spock said that the Khan stole some data from your central computer. What's that all about? We're still assessing the extent of the breach. Nothing to report as of right now. That's it? Ambassador Spock suggested it was something more serious. Which is why I'm asking. One thing we know is that they stole Starfleet shield algorithms. The shield algorithms? That could jeopardize every ship in the fleet. We're still making sure our assessment is accurate. We don't want to raise alarms unnecessarily. This is as real as it gets, Solano. I have to talk to Starfleet Command now, so I think this conversation has come to an end. I really do hope you get Portal 63 and find those to Khan before this gets out of control. Riker out. I specifically said I wanted to keep this under wraps. I thought we had an understanding. Now all of Starfleet will hear about this. Riker's ship is at risk. They all are. I can't believe you would want to keep that from him. That's one more thing I'll have to answer for. Now I have to think about the damage control of it all. You're dismissed. It's the automated Federation warning buoy. Transmitting the disable code Captain Riker provided. That was unpleasant. Commander Ermott, what are the conditions of our systems? All internal systems operational. Commander Westbrook, what are your scans of the planet? Nothing out of the ordinary. No sign of this outrageously powerful Takan being? I'm running a magneton scan now, but so far, nothing. Where are you? Prep your way, team. We don't know if Portal 6-3 will cooperate. He's not an asset. He's an enemy. So be ready for anything. Prove you're worth <laughs> keeping alive for a little while longer. I cannot stop this ship any more than you could stop the tides. Not good enough. The impotent threats of a lower life form do not sway me. I will not bend to you. I was born 600,000 years ago. But a new age dawns today. I liked you a lot better when you were Ryan Kapoor. A pain in the ass sometimes. But a stand-up guy when it counted. You weren't friends with the one who gave up this body. He didn't give it, you took it. And all the others. My name is Zanu Losa. I was born in the final days of the Age of Makto. I am but one of many. We who took a leap of faith across the bridge of time to be reborn in these bodies. Eventually, one of you will break. You don't understand how overmatched you truly are. This craft was nothing before we imbued it with the speed required by our mission. And the Cartabia that produces enough energy to drive an entire fleet of ships like this one. But when we wake the Aphelion, we won't need a fleet. The Aphelion? Only then will you understand the might of the Takan Empire. And when you wake the Aphelion, what are you going to do with it? 
anything we want. Come on! This goes from bad to worse unless you do what they say. <clears throat> Then he will. Or we cut off his hands and use them ourselves. Moments I reduce speed or change our heading, the others will know. First, they'll just resume course from elsewhere. Trivial matter. And then, they will come here. For you. This is a dead end. I don't know if he's telling the truth, but I don't like it. We need a new plan. He's just trying to talk his way out of trouble. Why would you tell us all this? I tell you because I value my own life. When my fellow Scions come, and they will come, I expect you'll all act like the savages you are, and a battle once. You've all died once. I don't intend to do so again. I won't touch those controls. If you want to get us killed, do it yourselves. You fear death. There's a way to stop this ship for good. And he knows how. He just needs more pressure. What kind of pressure? We heard him. He'll talk. Trust me. That's against Starfleet protocol. You're not on a Starfleet ship. Your protocol does not apply. We take the action that will lead to our victory. Don't assume your moral code takes precedence above all others. I get the impression you know how to make people talk. Think you can break his arm? No, don't! <clears throat> what the hell, Carter? We don't torture people! Did you forget what uniform you're wearing? What it stands for? This isn't like you. He'll live. Isn't that what you want? Don't you twist my words like that. I have only just begun. Stop, please! Wait! The warp cores. Our technology is amplifying the ship's output, and it still relies on the warp cores to provide plasma to the engines. Disable those, and the ship grinds to a halt. Sabotage. This display is for all life forms on the ship. This is where the infiltrators are. The central artery of ship systems, sensors, propulsion, weapons, and this is engineering. It's deserted. If I can get us there, can you cripple my ship? Not something I'd normally ask, but I'm coming around to it. I got this. I'm an engineer. This is my territory. Then we'll follow your lead. This plan of yours has one problem. It strands us. Left out of the fight when there is a war going on. Our fight is here, now. This is how we do the most good. For the Empire. For the Empire. So, Carter, you didn't beam out after all. I thought you'd escaped when we boarded. I had almost hoped you'd made it off. And Millie's there with you too, right? It's good you two are together. Sounds like you miss me. Miranda might have. She was so hopeful about you. But that's not why I called. You're not a fighter. I know it. You know it. That's why you're hiding. Somewhere on this ship. But the Takan Empire has so much to offer you. Think of all the knowledge lost for half a million years that you'd have access to. I know you want more from life. And I want to show you what you could be a part of. Not just the wonders you've already seen from us. In our time, we had the power to move stars. Carter, you have a thirst for discovery. In case you forgot, we were a part of something. I still am. The Federation may not be perfect, but it stands for ideals that your people clearly do not believe in. We have our own ideals. And we have our own strength. Every one of us on this crusade has fought wars more brutal and consuming than you could fathom. But I want to reach a peaceful resolution to this. Carter, we have a plan for you. And for the others, too. We don't want to have to destroy you. What, you think there's some sort of compromise to be had here? 
After all you've done? The only end of this is when you surrender. After all we've done? You can't think we give up now. We can continue this conversation in person. I'll see you on the bridge very soon. Her comm badges. She's tracking our location with them. If we have to use force to free our fellow Scions, there will be casualties. We can't stay here. And we need to disable the transmitters. Where'd you go? You don't want to talk to me. She's trying to keep you talking. I mean, I get it. But I'm trying to help you. Got it. Mine's done too. Time to hit the road. You've forgotten something. They know where we're going. Set to stun. You're not going to shoot a guy who's unconscious, are you? You keep getting in my way. You already broke his arm. What more do you want to do? I want to eliminate loose ends. And I did that for you. Solve the problem of what to do with him. Now let's move it. Our coordinates match the exact location where Riker met Portal 6-3. Unlike Riker's team, we beam down without a problem. It's... quiet. Portal has to know we're here. If he won't come to us, we'll go to him. Spread out. Already gave it a scan. Dead. The whole planet feels like it's been turned to stone. This is where Portal 6-3 projected his image. He was guarding this bridge. That has to mean something. We'll move forward when you're ready, Commander. Follow me. Ends here. Is it me, or did that path just disappear? There was a path there a moment ago. There must be an explanation. Tetrametric pulses. Same energy as the other Takan technology. Most of the crystals appear dormant. What's different about this one? Readings indicate there's a cavity in the rock right behind it. We could try melting a hole through the wall with our phasers. Worth a try. Nothing. There's got to be a weakness. Somewhere it isn't totally solid. That wall was as real as the rest of them. I felt it. It's almost like our holodeck technology. 
but far more advanced. The crystals must be absorbing the energy from our phasers. I'm picking up something. A biosignature. It's faint, but it's there. With me. Another dead end. Or another illusion. Crewman LaRue, if you would. <laughs> Duval to Resolute. Beam Crewman LaRue directly to medical. Is he okay? He'll live. Not all crystals work the same, it seems. Don't fire your phasers at any crystals unless we're sure they're putting out the same pulses as before. Get that. Trust, but verify. Indeed.
Better go see what's different. The way's clear. Good work, Commander. We'll make sure it's safe. Incredible. The plants here are actually alive. Is this the biosignature you detected, Doctor? No. Not a match. Tetrametric. Then it's creating an illusion as well. Based on the data we have so far, only one thing left to do. Doctor, be ready to beam us out if it turns out we're wrong. Deval to Resolute. Lock transporter on away team. this in any Federation record. The plants. Barbarians. It's him. How dare you disturb me? I'd hoped you had enough sense to leave of your own accord, but here you stand. <laughs> Fools. In another time, I would have destroyed you and your ship simply for setting foot in this place. Fortunately for you, that time has passed. Portal 6-3, guardian of the Takan Empire. We've come a long way to meet you. Guardian? I am guardian of nothing. The Takan no longer exist. Don't care to be reminded. If this is why you've come, then you should leave. Now. I'll cut right to it. The Takan have returned. Returned? My people have come back? How can that be? I've been alone for so long. If it is true, how did they return? Taconian technology made it possible. To enable the transfer of consciousness from one being to another after physical death. They call it bioforming. A group of Taconians calling themselves Scions of the Flame used it to reawaken after hundreds of millennia. Science of the Flame? Is something wrong? I'd hardly call them Takan. 
They were a radical faction with beliefs outside the mainstream. Beliefs that lesser life forms should serve as vessels to ensure Tikon immortality. You want me to help you destroy them? That's why you've come. You want to destroy these Scions. There is a war looming that could engulf the Quadrant. We want you to help us bring about peace before it gets to that point. Peace always comes at a cost. They have an incredibly powerful energy source they call the Cartabula. These Scions have the Cartabula. And they've used it as a weapon against us. I will speak with you alone. What are you doing? Where are we? Where's my team? They are safe where we left them. That the Scions have stolen the Contabula is deeply concerning. And to be honest, I'd rather speak with you alone, John and Ryan Dick. Your colleagues don't know what it means to be the last of one's kind. You and I? are remnants of fallen civilizations. The Kobliad, the Tikon. One dying, one dead. Our species could not be more different, but we both know the meaning of loss. The others wouldn't understand. It's beyond their ability to comprehend. We're more alike than you might realize, in that we accept the inevitability of loss. If only you understood the glory of the Dakon Empire's past. Tell me. Why spend your days away from your own people when so few of them are left? Why live your life working for this federation to which the Coplia do not even belong? And submit yourself to their authority? It makes no sense. Not by my logic. It's true. The Coplia chose not to join the federation when the offer was made. And I could have chosen to stay on my home planet, waiting for the next shipment of Deridium to arrive, biding my time and fearing for the worst. Instead, I chose to embrace the future, not fear it. Joining Starfleet gave me the opportunity not just to help my own people, but countless more. You told Riker you'd wait until you were needed. You're needed now. We need you. As much as it pains me to learn the Cartabula has fallen into the hands of the Scions, my services are not up for offer. To be chosen as a portal was to give one's entire self to the cause of protecting the Tacon Empire. I left behind everything I know, and now you want me to turn against my own people. The betrayal of my oath, and everything I vowed to protect. These aren't the Tacon you knew. They're a facsimile. They're imposters, and they tarnish the Takan name. We faced these questions in my time as well. What you call bioforming, we thought of as a marginal science. But if these reborn Takan plan to restore the Empire, is that a disaster to be avoided? Taconian technology is so advanced, 
it could save millions of species currently on the brink of extinction, including your own. And at the price of a small few, think of how the many could benefit. Instead, it sounds as if you are reacting out of fear before you have a full understanding of what's at stake. I don't think you've given this full consideration. You may have more to gain than to lose. That's not a decision we're just going to let these new Takan make for us. We will fight them back. In fact, I doubt anyone would willingly give themselves up to bioforming. The Trill do just that. There are many symbiotic relationships among species. To mutual benefit, not replacement. You said you will not give up, even when faced with the superiority of the Dakon. If I were in your place, I might say the same. I'm curious to see these scions masquerading as true Dakon. So I will go with you, and we shall find them. But when we do, I will judge them myself as a guardian of the Takan to understand their true intentions, for better, for worse. It's certainly your right to make your own decisions. I won't tell you otherwise. Very well. I'll return. Commander! Hold your fire. I'm all right. He's coming with us. We assumed the worst. She's perfectly fine. Now then, shall we? All right. We can beam up your... Do you have any equipment or tools? Plus one, ready to beam up. More difficult though. This ship can maintain warp with half the cores offline. We'll need to disable three of them. Where are the engine schematics? Power flow routing charts. We're soldiers, not engineers. I thought you would know what to do. You're in good hands. We can do this. I trust that you can. You at least know where we should start? This way. output since we left Otari space. No ship can run for very long like that. Not before a catastrophic failure hits. It's right on the edge. We just need to figure out a way to give it a push. Bet that console down there can tell us a few things.
Whatever we do, we need to make sure the Takan can't undo it. So we need a way to permanently disable the reactors that won't destroy the ship and kill us all in the process. You thinking what I'm thinking? Warp core ejection. So the question is, how do we make it happen? Like we saw on the bridge, all four warp cores are operating at full capacity. The safety protocols don't look much different from the Resolute. Breach protection. Reduce output, command override. Cease matter, antimatter flow, command override. Emergency warp core ejection. Computer control. Even command functions can't override one of the most crucial safety measures. So the protocol's still active. That's good. The reactor coolant system is operating at emergency containment levels. It's just barely keeping the temperature in check. Maybe we can use that. If it gets this high, their system considers a reactor breach imminent. Looks like if sensors show a core is about to rupture, the computer will eject it automatically rather than risk a breach. So we need to increase the warp core's temperatures. If we destroy the coolant regulators, there won't be anything to keep these reactors from going over. And it will trigger the ejection. Let's peel these suckers open. I'll take that one. I'll take the one next to it. The second you two start dumping cores, the Takan will know we're here. We'll be vulnerable. Stuck in one place while you work. We will have to make a stand. Well, here's the good news. I'm at my best when I'm under pressure. We'll barricade the door. Work quickly. We might not have our tools, but our phasers can do this in a pinch. Better get this right. If we foul it up and this whole thing goes boom. You don't know how much damage that Cartabula will do. There goes the galaxy. Could be that bad. We'll get it right. It's not a Starfleet warp core, but the coolant regulator has to be in here somewhere. up. Warning. Warning. Warp core output at critical level. Ejecting core. Okay. Now they're definitely gonna know we're down here. Warp core output at critical level. Ejecting core. Just one more to go. They're here. They're cutting through the door. We don't have much time. Same as before. We just got it. Same as before. We just got it.
mind not shooting at the matter-antimatter reactor? I'll cover you. What? No! Get the world order, or we're all dead. See you on the parade grounds of Sorella, my friend. You too. Calm yourself, child. It will all be better soon. bigger than all of us. They defile my poor Itasca with every moment they take breath in her body. I will not let that stand. So much I want to ask you. There's so little I can tell you. I'm a portal, not a scientist, but I'll certainly do my best. I can only assume this is one of your older starships. 
One would think, given the importance of your mission, they might send a ship of a more recent vintage. It may not be a Taconian ship, but the Resolute is one of the best we've got. So don't disparage it. I was just asking. Something wrong? Not at all. The galaxy has grown more diverse since the days of the Takon Empire. Because you conquered everyone who didn't look like you. To the contrary. Most lesser civilizations willingly join the Empire to enjoy the benefits of an advanced way of life. But that expansion came with its own set of problems, so... I admire your ability to diversify without creating conflict. That was always our challenge, and perhaps, ultimately, our downfall. The Federation prides itself on its inclusiveness. I'd say it's one of our greatest strengths. As the Vulcans say, infinite diversity in infinite combinations. Interesting. I'd be curious to meet one of these Vulcans. If this is the best you have, then so be it. To locate this scion, Galvan, I'll need full access to your ship's systems. Full access? Huh. You must be out of your mind. No. I'm right here. Completely in my mind. And with all due respect to your advanced technology, the simple fact is that I won't be able to locate him without it. Perhaps I should have made that clear up front. I'll need to make certain modifications. I can't promise anything, but let me see what I can do. Just know, without it I won't be able to help you. This isn't gonna fly. I'll see you on the bridge. Captain Solano. I'd like to introduce you to Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Likewise. I can't say I've ever met a portal before. There is no modern equivalent. Not within the Federation, at least. He's been kind enough to agree to help us find Galvin. I am at your service. To whatever extent I can be of help. If nothing else, I'm sure you're happy for a change of scenery. You spent 600,000 years at your post. That certainly takes an uncommon level of dedication. We all have our duty. Of course. But I'm curious. You were stationed there in preparation for what exactly? Any and all threats to the Empire. An Empire that no longer exists. Which suggests you weren't very successful. You said you needed my help. I didn't come here to be insulted. Perhaps that was a mistake. I'd be happy to return to Delphi Ardu at any time. And we do need your help. Absolutely. And we are grateful that you decided to come. And your captain has an odd way of expressing his gratitude. I'm merely curious where your allegiances might lie. Clearly it's with the Takan. Yes, Captain. You have found me out and expose my true loyalties to the Takan, not to the Scions of the Flame, who do nothing more than tarnish us in name and reputation and don't deserve to be called Takan. That's why I'm here. And if you'd be so kind as to give me access to your ship's systems, we can get on with it. And you can stop wasting my time. Access to our systems? That's completely out of the question. Tell me that's not what you promised. We're vulnerable enough as it is. And now we're supposed to give him access to everything? I didn't promise him anything. She made no guarantees whatsoever. I never imagined offering to help would be met with such ignorance. If you're not enjoying your visit to our ship, we'd be more than happy to let you wither away back on your pathetic little rock. Captain? You clearly do not appreciate the magnitude of the threat the science pose. So myopic is your focus on your own ego. I will not be leaving until they have been found. 
Commander Rydek, a word. And to think I waited 600,000 years for this. You realize this puts me in an incredibly difficult position. I was against seeking him out from the start, but now, to give him access to our systems? It's insane! And you somehow expect me to believe his allegiance is with us? You heard what he said in there. There's no way we can trust him. I might otherwise agree, but you're missing the most important point. He's a Takan, and he may be loyal to the Takan, but not to the Scions of the Flame. He's against everything they believe in. You heard what he said. There's too much at stake to be wrong on this. We sought him out for a reason. To help him find our missing crew, Galvin, and those Elidian ships. This is the plan we agreed to with Ambassador Spock. Which I never liked. But here we are. You know what this mission means to us. Not just for the Federation, but for me personally. I can't afford another screw-up. Losing the shield algorithms was bad enough. This... This could be the end of my career. We'll take every precaution to make sure we get what we need. I'll keep a close eye on him myself. I appreciate that. I'm going to trust your instincts on this one. I just hope you're right. For both of our sakes. Let me know if you find anything.